Hi guys and welcome, my name is Mu, and today I'm going to try to review a Paranormal Entities, which I think was quite, um, uh, I honestly think that it was a, quite a, uh, an interesting game in a way that, um, it is quite scary. Uh, it has a lot of scary elements. It is a few, like, uh, horror, like, uh, jump scare elements to it. However, it also does have this feeling of being in an, uh, an asylum uh, with the mentally ill. You do see indication of, you know ghosts i guess we should call them or entities um there's also a lot of uh, situations where the uh, environment is being changed because of the you know you're walking in somewhere and then it's going to be blocked and then you walk away and then you come back and then it's going to be opened again for so so it, it's a way for them to kind of make sure that you're not going in the wrong way too soon uh which i think could be okay um it it could have been done slightly better in some situation but to be fair, I don't have the answer to how they could have done it better. So based on that, I do believe that they did the best that they could. Um, so map wise, I don't think it's it's a huge issue. Um, the story, I think, is kind of interesting. Uh, the problem with this game is that there's also a lot of talking to kind of get understanding of the story, uh, which I feel like is a okay. Uh, it is like you do need to do that. Uh, you need to have that conversation uh, to be able to. Um, you need to have that uh, conversation to, um, how to say it, like, it needs to be, um, in a way, you do need to bring out the story, right? You need to have the story and you need to do it in some way. This way that this game chose to do it is by having an earpiece on the character that you're playing with uh, uh, the, the producers talking to you through the earpiece to kind of explain the story and and i think that is okay because there's two different ways you can do it like or, or two examples that you could do one is having someone tell the story for you or two actually read the story i do like the fact that they went with one or the other one or the other uh because there are some games where they do both which i kind of got annoyed by because i hear the, the story and then i have to read it or I actually had to read it read it first and then hear the story which kind of like but i've already read this why am i hearing it as well it could be for for disability reasons like if someone cannot read and then they can hear the story so but i wish in those games it would be better to have like if you open it then they read it to you to have a disability uh feature or accessibility not disability my apologies that is wrong wording so accessibility uh feature um my my apologies for for the wrong type of words i i do have sometimes issues with with finding the correct word so i do apologize for that uh, anyway um so this one they, they had the earpiece and i think that 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 actually worked out fine um the i did like the fact that sometimes the ghost came out there was a few situations where it kind of looked like a bug where you kind of saw that there was something there but you it was just flashing and it was just you know um some of the sounds in this game is, was really well done as well uh, i felt like there was a good way of using sound to kind of create that tense feeling um it's, it, it's it is a little bit short but i do have to say that i felt like that capture horror games quite well uh, they had a few cliche when it comes to horror games however i think that they executed it quite okay um the question is then do i actually recommend this game i have a hard time saying yes or no to that if i'm gonna be honest uh i did enjoy it uh, and i do believe that a lot of people will be quite scared by it um so for people who are not very used to playing horror games i do believe that this one would be a very good game for them uh however for me who has been playing quite a lot of horror games i felt like there was a lot of cliche when it came to this this game um but I'm actually I'm actually gonna go ahead and and recommend it because I did enjoy it. It was very short, um, but I also feel like they were trying to do like quite like they have executed some of these horror elements a lot better than other uh, type of games that I played. Uh, meaning that I do believe that there is there is some excitement about it. However. Uh, the reason why I also cannot wholeheartedly uh, recommend it is because of the way like they have if I'm going with my mouse outside of the screen I will automatically go out of the game 
um and i can't go in to actually press the menu which is kind of annoying and uh, so there's a lot of bugs there that makes me not being able to wholeheartedly say that i recommend it but it's it has a lot of potential and i think that the developer if they continue making these types of games i think that they will be able to kind of catch what's missing from this one into a real like horror horror experience um so for being a short game i do believe that i a kind of one i recommend it but not wholeheartedly thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it then well you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again